You have voted. Though I'm not really sure why you'd want to watch a baby learn to walk. First thing I want to learn is throat bass. I want to learn deep throat bass. Deep throat bass. I, I don't think I should search this. Learn to beatbox. Yo, what's up everybody? Tyler W here, and today I'm here to teach you the throat bass. I want to do that. W. All right, so for this video, guys, I'm going to start beatbox. off and talk about some precautions. Throw caution to the wind. Okay. Now, one of the first ways you can go about finding this is just by coughing. Now, if you're coughing like a deep, <coughs> cough, I'm not talking about a little lazy <coughs> cough. I'm talking about deep. <coughs> 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 when you do that. You <coughs> <coughs> okay. All right. I see where he's going. Vocal cords vibrate. <coughs> In a sense, is basically where you want to identify and try to push the sound. Now, if you're unable to identify where your throat is going to be vibrating through coughing, another way to do it, and I've seen this in a lot of other throat-based tutorials, is to sigh. You know, that classic common <sighs> sigh where you're like, <sighs> like, yeah. oh man, something's <sighs> wrong. Like, <sighs> okay, all right. All right, but now I just have to breathe in. Now step two, this follows after you are able to identify where your throat is vibrating. Now whatever method you did it in, whether you were sighing or whether you were coughing, take that, identify it, and hold that out longer. So if you're sighing, be like, you know you have that initial, but if you sigh and you hold it out longer, like, take so much breath. Or if you're coughing, go, take so much breath. Long. So one thing I don't think I mentioned so far is you need to make sure your vocal cords are relaxed and loose. If they're tight, you're not going to be able to accomplish this. Floor. Make sure that you're maintaining. Just going to focus on that vibration. Okay. So cut out the sigh, cut out the cough that you're doing, and just focus on the vibration. So if you were sighing, it would sound focus a little bit on like the vibration. Cut back. Uh, so once you guys okay, are really focused on that point of vibration, you guys can accomplish it. Okay. Now the first variation I'm going to kind of teach is going to be tongue base and throat base. And tongue it's going to sound base. a little bit like. Got it. Now for this sound, you need to know both throat bass, which you guys have just learned. All right, I think I've, I've got that down. Now we need to find another one. Collapse, teach me something, buddy. You ready to learn something new? Yes. This is a Swiss beatbox tutorial. Okay. Wow. <laughs> that, wow. Tyler W. How you doing today? My name is Napalm. Today I'm going to teach you three of my signature sounds. Cough snare. <laughs> Out the base. And That's one. zipper. Those are three I need in my bag of tricks. It's a really loud whisper with the cough as the initial hit. So if you whisper really loudly, it sounds like this. I'm whispering really loudly. Be quiet, kids. I got it's it. Quiet time. I see what you're trying to say. So if you take that sound and make the cough the initial hit of it, so it's just like a boom, 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 boom. I'm just releasing so much air. I don't know if I like that. One. Okay, this is terrible for my throat, but it makes it sound more coarse. I'm fine with that. Resonance oh. of the sound to be the whisper part. So whenever you put the two together, it sounds like this. It doesn't sound the same. It doesn't sound like that napalm. Let's try it in practice. Bow wow. Bow wow. I, I don't know. Maybe I just need to practice more. Next, outward lip bass. So whenever I do my outward lip bass style, I put two sounds together. The regular like which everybody does as a kid, right? Everybody's going But if you do that same sound with different like sounds on the inside of your mouth, such as such as or okay. sounds such as this. Oh, that's actually helpful. Shh. 
No, maybe it's maybe it's not. <laughs> See, so it's really just basic two basic sounds put together into one. Let's try some sounds. Okay. All right. Okay, my, my keyboard's not thanking me here. Let's move on to a new one. It's the zipper. You know whenever you have a balloon and you barely let any air out of it mm -hmm. and it makes the sound like... That's exactly what the zipper sound is. Just with your mouth. So you want to create a very small... It's, it's not that easy. Small hole in your mouth. So just barely any air can come through. And I do my breathing in. Anybody could do it in any way. You could do a breathing in or out. I find it to be easier breathing in. But you want to create such a small little hole so only a little bit of air come in, comes in. Only this much air. Only this much. Okay. So whenever you breathe it in, you could start going. Now it might take time to get it tickles. used to the sound because the first time that you learn it, your lips could get a little bit tingly and itchy and it would feel a little bit weird. <laughs> But after you get the hang of it, you'll be a zipper master. So, my last. Okay. Oh, so I can do that two ways. I can breathe in, or I can do it with just my tongue. Okay, so if I practice that enough, I could do a bass and a zipper at the same time. Me likey. Such a small, like, ah, that's what, that one's gonna take some practice to do perfectly every time. So what have we learned so far? No. <laughs> That's just not gonna do it. I gotta I I yeah, I I I I I I I need to I I need I need to learn. This is this is not gonna cut it. If I practice these enough, I could probably do them really well, but it's it's whew. I need ones I can do now. Let's do some lip rolls. All right, Tyler, you did me do out the throat bass. Let's hear your lip rolls. Yo, what is up, guys? My name is Tyler W, and today I'm here to teach you the basic lip roll. <laughs> So in my opinion, learning the basic lip roll can be broken down to about three steps. three steps. Step one is going to be choosing a side of your mouth. I personally do mine Probably on the left, left side, and that kind of seems to be the trend with a lot of beatboxes, but you can do it on the left, right, or even both. Now, step number two is going to oh. be dropping your jaw slightly. Now, in my previous Drop lip roll jaw. tutorial, I mentioned that you had to drop your bottom jaw slightly to the opposite side that you're doing your lip roll on. I've now come to realize that you really just need to drop it either straight down, or you can still drop it slightly to the opposite side. The point of dropping your jaw is that when you drop your jaw, you're going to be giving more room in your mouth for the sound to resonate, which can create deeper tones and you're also going to give yourself the ability to loosen your lips more which can create a more powerful lip roll. You can drop your jaw at all. It's going to be a tighter sound. It's going to sound a little bit like... But if you go... No, mine doesn't sound that good. Oh, the zipper sounds better like that though. If I mix Tyler and Collapse, I can get a zipper. I'm getting some. Go ahead and drop your jaw a little bit. It's going to sound a little bit like... Although there may... No, it doesn't. I need more information. This isn't gonna cut it. Maybe times where you wanna have a tighter sounding lip roll, dropping your jaw is gonna create a nice, crisp, deep toned lip roll that you should be going for. Beatbox sounds, but the lip roll tends to be a little more difficult, at least it was for me, and I've heard that from a lot of other people, so uh, don't get discouraged, just keep going for it. Now what's like? Okay, thank you. In short, tight lips equals zipper, loose lips equals lip roll. Now to demonstrate- it. Tight lips, zipper, <laughs> and loose lips, bass roll. That doesn't sound good at all. <laughs> By this point, your mouth positioning should look something like this. Bottom lip inwards. It's gonna look like. Okay, it doesn't sound like that at all. Dragging the bottom lip inwards. It's gonna look like. Lies! This is gonna be sucky and terrible. Get over it. All right, so we have. And, and, 
and 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 God, my mouth is already tired. <laughs> I just can't, I, I don't know, man. I don't know, all right? I just have to keep practicing, but, I, but I'm getting better, I guess. You're probably better than me at beatboxing, but I can still do this. Learn that in a day and a half. Ha <laughs> ha! Don't worry, I'll get better, I promise. Keep practicing. <laughs>